Hi friends, welcome back to EduTap. In this session, we are going to discuss SEBI grade A previous year questions which were asked in 2022 examination pertaining to costing. So today we are going to discuss the questions which were asked in paper 2 phase 1 and there are total 9 questions pertaining to co costing that we are going to discuss here. So quickly let's start our today's session. Now let's start with the first question. This question is imputed cost is also known as options are sunk cost, historical cost, notional cost, process cost or none of the above. So my dear friends, when we are talking about the imputed cost, these are the costs which are not actually incurred, but we are still considering them in making our costing decisions. For example, if I talk about if I talk about using my own house as a factory, then then the rent of this particular house, I will still consider it as a part of my cost because if I would have otherwise rented any other space for a factory, it I would have to pay certain amount of rent. But now I am using my own space for factory. So this rent is not actually incurred, but still I am considering it. This is my implicit cost or imputed cost, which is to be considered for taking much, much better decisions. Okay, so this imputed cost is sort of a notional cost because this rent I am not going to pay myself now. I am not going to pay myself any rent now. So this is a notional cost which is not actually incurred, but it is still considered for the decision making purpose. So option number C would be the correct answer. So as discussed, option number C, imputed cost is a correct answer. Coming to the next one, which of the following is not a part of 5S? Options are Seton, Seri, Shitsuke, Sisu, Support. So I believe you would be able to find the odd one out. Okay, all of these are Japanese terms except option number E, which is not a Japanese term. So clearly you would mark option number E as the correct answer. So my dear friends, all of these are the Japanese terms. So you have to be aware about these terms and also you need to know the meaning of these terms. Okay, so these are five S. These are five terms which are used in the Japanese production management systems. So you have to know what are these five S and you also have to know what are the meanings of these five S. So you need to learn about these. They are very important and may be asked in the upcoming exam as well. Coming to the next one, which of the following is an example of an indirect cost? So we have some direct cost and we have some indirect cost. Direct cost, it means the material can be directly related to the out directly related to the finished product that we are manufacturing. For example, two batteries for radio transistor. We can easily relate the two batteries to the radio transistor. We can directly relate it. It is a direct cost. Packaging material like carton, jute in a bag and also starch powder for dressing yarn. All of these can be directly attributed to the final product. But store services for the canteen. So any canteen which is there in a factory, you may not be able to directly relate it to your final product. Okay, so that is going to be an indirect cost. So option number A would be the answer for this question. So as discussed, option number A would be the part of indirect cost. Canteen is an indirect cost. So that is going to be the correct answer. Coming to the next question, change for better and continuous improvement is termed as. Options are Kaizen, Genji, Gimbutsu, Pokayok, Muda, none of the above. So my dear friends, there is a very popular term, very popular Japanese term, which is Kaizen. Okay, Kaizen, it means continuous improvement. We have to change ourselves for betterment continuously. Changes cannot happen in a day. We cannot depend on radical changes. Changes have to happen in a continuous fashion. Regular improvement we have to do. Okay, so this Kaizen, it is the term which is being used here. So this option number A would be the correct answer. So Kaizen is a Japanese term which means change for the better or continuous improvement. So that's why this was the correct answer for this question. Now coming to the next one, which of the following is not part of the lean manufacturing system? So these days we talk about the lean manufacturing system. We have to make our manufacturing system leaner. We have to reduce the wastages. We have to improve the efficiency. 
and the options are continuous improvement it should be there it is based on push system identify value value stream mapping none of the above so in the lean system we do have to identify the value we have to identify what are the processes which are adding to the value and any process which is not adding to the value we have to simply reduce it or remove it and we also have to know the value stream mapping what is this what is the sequence of events that we are doing to create value for the customer so this value stream mapping is to be done and it is based not on the push system but on the pull system we talk about just in time inventory so we are not going to stock inventory with us whenever we require inventory we can easily pull it from our raw material vendors so it is not a push based system it is rather a pull system so option number b is not part of the lean system so this is going to be the correct answer so as discussed lean manufacturing it is based on a pull system so work is pulled or inventory is pulled as per the demand no unnecessary production no unnecessary stock is kept so option number b is the correct answer coming to the next question which of the following is not a feature of budgetary control options are budgeting is a plan of action based on past performance and governed by rational judgment of factors that will influence the course course of business in future so it is somewhat correct for budgeting the organizational structure must be clearly defined and responsibility should be assigned to identifiable units within the organization so this is also correct budgeting does not facilitate in management by exception this does not seem to be correct budgeting is quantifiable in monetary or quantity or both terms so you can make budget in money terms or you can make budget in quantity terms so both are fine so option number c is the one which does not seem to be correct and this would be the answer for this one so whenever we are creating some budgets for example we have created a budget for our sales for rupees 1 crore okay and let's suppose our sale it was only rupees 10 lakh so this is a exceptional variation that has occurred 90 lakh variation has occurred okay so this exceptional variation can be easily tackled when we have the budgets so budgets do facilitate management by exception okay so that's why this option number c is not going to be the correct one it is going to be the answer for this question so as discussed budgets do facilitate management by exception principle one of the advantages of using budgetary budgetary control is that you can apply this management by exception principle so clearly option number c answer coming to the next one tpm does not include which of the following components so tpm is total productive maintenance options are preventive maintenance breakdown maintenance productive maintenance maintenance prevention or none of the above so this tpm this funda it basically focuses on making sure ki all our processes all our systems they are working fine okay they are working in a very good manner we do not want to break those systems if any kind of a system breaks down then it can be a huge loss it can delay the processes it can result in wastages so we have to avoid all those things so when we are talking about tpm we consider preventive maintenance we have to make sure ki our all the machines and equipments they are maintained and we do not have to wait for any breakdown we focus on predictive maintenance we already predict in advance ki what can happen and accordingly we do do the maintenance in advance so breakdown maintenance is not done here we do not wait for breakdowns to happen so clearly this is not going to be a component so option number b would be the correct answer for this question so as discussed option number b would be the correct one the tpm total productive maintenance is the process of using your machines equipment employees and supporting processes to make sure that your system it keeps on functioning in a proper manner okay the integrity of the system it remains total productive maintenance strives for perfect production no breakdown no stops no defects no accidents so this is the this is the basic idea behind the total productive maintenance which you have to remember so clearly option number b would be the correct answer coming to the next one which of the following is incorrect regarding kanban options are kanban card is a visual representation of a work item task and its status so this is true kanban cards help in tracking the progress from moment of to do to done number of kanban cards in progress are increased over time kanban cards reduce the need for actual meetings or none of the above now kanban cards they are very interesting cards which you can use for production management so this is a visual representation which will denote some kind of a task so any kind of a task if it is in progress or any material which needs to be 
ordered or anything which needs to be done by someone you can simply make a card for it and note down all the important details on it and it would definitely reduce the need for the actual meetings but we have to make sure key the number of kanban cards in progress should rather decrease over time and not increase increasing if these cards keep on increasing it may indicate that the pending work is piling up or increasing okay so we have to reduce these so option number c would be the correct one these number they have to be decreased over time uh, so this is how a kanban card might look okay so kanban is a japanese term so it means a, a visual card it means a visual card so it may denote any work that has been requested or it is already in progress so the basic funda is to make sure key only a manageable number of active items they are in progress at one time so we have to reduce these kinds of cards we have to reduce the pendencies so that's why option c would be the correct answer coming to the next one which of the following is not correct with regard to dmaic options are measure analyze improve correct define so d m a i c define measure analyze improve and c is not correct c refers to control and not correct okay this is an important technique which you can use to improve your production processes and here c stands for control and not correct so that's why correct answer would be option number d so my dear friends as discussed this dmaic is a data driven strategy for improving our processes and it is a part of the six sigma quality initiative related to quality management so five interconnected phases define measure analyze improve and control not correct so that's why option number d would be the correct answer so this is it for today this this was the today's session in which we discussed some of the important py cows on costing for sebi examination i believe you were able to understand all the concepts and questions discussed today thank you bye bye happy learning